let's have a look at creating our patch where we're going out and looking for nests and then adding details of a blackbird nest that we find in our patch. So as usual, we've logged in and we are on the landing page. And first of all, we're going to want to add a site. So this is our patch where we're going and we're searching for nests. Either we can go to sites in the top bar here, or we can go to the manage sites button. I'm going to say that I'm searching for nests in an area of woodland here. I'm going to zoom into the section, which is where I would like to create my general site. And this is the area where I'm going to be regularly searching for nests. And on the side here, you have all the control panel and we're going to select general site. And then this blue marker allows us to create our site. So you click, we're creating a shape. And it really just depends on where it is that you're searching. And then once we get to the end, it nicely clicks into place and we have our site. So you can give this a name that means something to you. I'm going to call this Woodland. Probably want to call it something more specific that's going to help you remember which site it is. The spatial details are generally auto populated from the map. The habitat, we can put that this is a coniferous woodland can add some more details and if you like add a secondary habitat so this could be other farming as the secondary habitat now you've got the nest recording default so it could be that you're mostly going to find unenclosed nests here and you can input other details that will auto populate when you create a nest record or you can add these details when you're actually filling in the details of the record itself and then ringing defaults does populate whether you're ringing or not. Either you can ignore this and leave this to auto populate or you can also add the capture method which could be in for on nest if you're ringing pulley in the nest for example. We're going to go ahead and save these details and that is our woodland that we're going and searching. This is now set up for any time you're finding a nest and you want to add details. So for this example, I'm going to say that I've set this up and I'm going out and I'm searching for nests and I've come back and I've logged into Demon and I'm back on my home page and I want to add details of a blackbird nest. What we want to do is start a new nest record. So either we can click the start a new nest record button or we can go to enter data and select nest recording and they will both bring us to this new nest record page. Let's start inputting our information. You can start with the core fields here. I've already said I want to input a blackbird. And for our location, we can now go to the drop down and see that woodland is there that we created. And then we want to refine this location because if we just leave it as that location, that was quite a big area that we created. So we want to refine exactly where that nest is in the location. If we click this button that brings up our site there you can then zoom in and drag the map around and I'm going to say that I found my blackbird nest here and you can see that auto populates the details here now if this were a nest box you might want to put remember the location but we're just putting a blackbird nest that I'm likely to only record once maybe twice in the year um, and we're going to go ahead and click save so that's added our location for us and you can see it's populated that it's a coniferous woodland and the nest is unenclosed as we put those as our defaults and now we can add some more details so I'm going to say it was on a or in a bush nest height was one meter part hidden and I'm going to put that it was a nest visit so I've been and I visited the nest now I can either leave it with those core fields or I can have a look in the other tabs and add some further details here. So either some more information on the nest site details, on the habitat, on the monitoring details, and also if you have more details of the adult birds at the nest. Otherwise I'm going to click save. That has saved all of my information in there. You can see the grid reference. It's in that location woodland. It's a blackbird and it's my 11th nest record. And then we can go ahead and add the details of the nest. So this is like in all of the other videos, if you've seen them very simply, we're just adding the date. 
the time, so I'm going to say it's 9am. When I found it, there were three eggs in the nest. The adult was in the vicinity. Once you've been doing it for a while, you're likely to remember the codes themselves, but you can also choose them from the drop down. So if it's codes that you're using again and again, then you're likely to be able to just, for example, I typed AV to get adults in vicinity of nest, but you can also go ahead and select them from the drop down. And when you add a status code, it will then add another box so you can continue adding status codes until the nest has been described by the status codes. Our observation type has been auto populated here. You can record the number of minutes that you have spent at the nest. So I'm gonna say I was just there for one minute. And then we can either save that record or we can add a row above. So this will mean that if I've been again, I can add another visit. But in this example, I'm just gonna say that I found this nest yesterday and I've decided to input the details as I go along. With the nest record scheme, you can either collect all of the information on your nest records, whether it's on your phone or in a notebook or whatever it might be, and input them at the end of the season, or you can add the information as you go along. Then just make sure to save the record. And there you have it, our record has been saved with that one visit there. And then when it comes to visiting again, we're gonna go back to the home. So it's been a, a couple of weeks, I've got some more details of my nest. I want to add some more information to it. So we can go to the add, visit, explore, nest data button here, or we can go to the explore data menu drop down and select nest recording. And it then allows you to search by certain criteria. You could just search and that will bring up all of your nest records that you've ever input. Or we could go to the location and add woodland. We can add the year 2022. We could add the species if we wanted to, whatever it might be. And there we have it. Here is our Blackbird record. And if we click on this, it'll open up the record for us. And you can see it's that same page again that's opened as a window inside of our window. And we can simply add the next visit row. For brevity, I'm just going to add an example where this nest has failed. I'm going to put 17th of May. I visited this time at 7 a.m. And I'm going to say that there were three dead eggs. If we put EP, that's eggs predated, and we can save the nest record and that one visit. As you can see, this is updated to red at the top to show outcome, failure, eggs predated. And then when we close the window, we can refresh our results and our blackbird nest now appears in red. And as you can see from the key down here, it would be green if it had been a successful outcome red for a failure, blue if no breeding occurred, and if you're unsure of the outcome of the nest, it would be in yellow. And that is very simply how to create your general site and input a nest record that you have found within your site.